G'day Steel Nation, g'day Steel Nation Worldwide and g'day Steel Nation Universe. Another day of free agency, or free agency is, you know, it's looming. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers have now signed, or reportedly, uh, according to Ian Rappaport, he says, the Steelers are in agreement on a two-year deal with cornerback Arthur Millette, source says. Now, no idea where he gets these sources from, but he says, he continues to say, they're keeping one of their own free agents. So let's talk about this for just a little bit. Uh, Arthur Millette is signing yet again with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He used to be, I think he's a, in about, I think it's a four-year, five-year career as a cornerback. No, he's not number one. No, he isn't Joe Hayden. And also, there are also ideas too. If you go through the Twitter universe, Joe Hayden now is coming out and saying, um, take your hat, take your coat and leave and, and putting out cryptic tweets. I'm not going to jump down that avenue just yet uh, if Joe's going to stay or sign. But for this, you know, I wanted to bring it up. For this video, we'll talk about Mollet and what it means for the team. Now, it's not a big signing. It's not a huge signing. It's not bringing over a JC Jackson. It's just another key piece for me for, for special teams. If you might play the, that role along with Killebrew too. He did end up playing in 2021 about 33% of the snaps, I'm pretty sure. Um, he was a, a role piece guy. He tried to fill in at the, the, the slot corner position. Didn't really do the job how, you know, my mate Mike Hilton would do now that he's with the Bengals and pressure the quarterback, go for the sack. Um, I'm okay with it. I don't know what I really think about, to be honest. Uh, Arthur Millette, to me, was just one of those guys. But who am I? Who am I to judge? Oh my God, just chilling out talking about Pittsburgh Steelers. But on the field, I don't. I didn't think he made that many splash plays um, with with the, the Pittsburgh Steelers. He didn't even get an interception. Now that could that could be because he was only on the field for, like I said, you know, three quarters of the time. He wasn't really around um, on the on the defense that much. They were also trying to bring in a little bit as well, working with Pierre, James Pierre, Cameron Sutton. Uh, Killer Witherspoon came in near the end to be number two with the with Joe Hayden being number one. So there was also, you know, Millette had to fight for his role on, on the Steelers. But there's got to be a reason why they're giving me a, a two-year deal. Maybe they believe in him. Maybe they believe that he can he, he can start to play better with another offseason heading into year two with the Steelers. Um, I want to bring up his stats, right? His stats right now. So in 2021, uh, Millette had 47 tackles, uh, one force fumble, and one pass deflection. Now, in my in my opinion, it's not really it's nothing outstanding about that. There's nothing really happened with this defense. Uh, we'll live with uh, Millet. You know, he didn't even get an interception. Um, like the, the the turnover ratio with the Pittsburgh Steelers, they were plus two. So even that was kind of average. The best thing about the Pittsburgh Steelers last year in 2021, with his stats reflecting that was the pass rush with TJ Watt, Cameron Haywood, and Highsmith. So the corners were a bit of a mixed bag. I know that uh, James Pierre got burnt so many times. Um, Trey Norwood got burnt. Even Sutton got burnt a few times. Yes, he made a pick. Um, I think it was in, in the – was it in the Denver game? Might have been – I don't know what game it was. But Cameron Sutton made a massive, like a massive play. Uh, Akila Witherspoon made some plays. I just didn't think – it's kind of an odd one. It, it's kind of like what the Steelers do. What the Steelers do with like guys like Millette and Killebrew, we sign those, I guess, just football players. Those, you know, C, if you have to grade them, it's, and I don't want to grade them, but if you have to, you would grade them like a C or maybe a D, you know, C minus, C plus players um, heading into B. They kind of fit the scheme. So I would like to see what we do at, at corner because corner is going to be a hot topic. And then maybe in the next few days, I'll go down the route of Joe Hayden and I'll try and figure out what these tweets actually mean um, with him with in regards to to Joe Hayden saying, I'll oh, take your hat, take your coat, go and do this. But hey, congrats, man. Uh, I don't I don't care, you know, who plays for the Pittsburgh Steelers. As long as you're a good player, uh, I will cheer you on. So as long as you wear the black and gold, I'm keen to see what you can do for our defense. I wish you all the luck. I'm pretty sure out of the sources I tried to look into, that I, I didn't I couldn't find the 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 money value of his contract. But I know it's a two, it's a uh, two-year contract similar to what was with uh, Killebrew, and yeah, I'm keen to see this year in 2022 to see him get after it. I'm keen to see him be a Pittsburgh Steeler. 
And I want to see what he can, how he can improve on last year. So 47 tackles, only one pass deflection, uh, one forced fumble. Those numbers need to double. You know, the tackles can probably stay around the same, 47 to 50, maybe, you know, 60 tackles. He's done quite well there. He had five tackles for loss as well in the backfield. He's getting around the football. I would like to see this defense and him and Arthur Millette starting to play a bit more fine up and starting to, to play how Mike Tomlin describe, describes it as um, those splash plays. And that's the, probably the biggest negative right now is that he's not making those big plays where to turn the football over and get the momentum um, or, you know, coming down from uh, into the run. And, 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 and five tackles for a loss is pretty good. But, you know, if he's playing that role like Mike Hilton did, which he's not going to be a Mike Hilton, he just, he just, he just won't be that. But he might be that, that, that nickel corner, that third corner, maybe the corner how he can uh, disrupt some of the tight ends. Uh, we have it pretty hard in the, in the AFC North as well, you know, versing all the Bengals stars, versing Lamar Jackson running the football. And now reports too that the Browns have signed uh, Amari Cooper. Man, this is, this, is, this is getting very interesting. Very, very interesting with a lot of things, uh, a lot of things with that team. So as the Browns go and sign Amari Cooper, a massive star, a big receiver uh, to, their, to their organization, we are just doing what we normally always do is just sign the fringe guys, sign the, you know, the guys that are just football guys. Uh, no big moves yet. No big moves for the Steelers, you know, free agency right now. We took care of Miles Killebrew. We've taken care of um, Arthur Millette. They're both Steelers now for two-year contracts. And we've got to wait and see what happens next. We don't know if we're going to sign Juju. We, we have a little bit of misunderstanding if we're going to sign Joe Hayden. All right, guys. If you guys enjoy the content, please subscribe to Steel Nation Australia. I'm trying to grow uh, this channel best I can. I'm trying to give you guys news, my opinion, my thoughts. And I'm on the road to 500. I'm on the road to 500 subs. I really want to try and get there. The main reason I want to get the 500 is I can start start to do community posts where I can put out, you know, was this trade a good idea? Uh, no, it's my apologies. Was this sign uh, a good idea? Did we need to go and get this person? Should we bring back Juju? I want to ask that qu those questions as a community post like you see on Facebook so I can get your instant reaction rather than take, you know, uh, 40 an hour to make a video, which takes a very long time when these, when these, uh, you know, breaking news breaks. I want to start to do community posts so I can get more involved in the community, in the Steelers community. So if you do like the content, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, leave a comment, like all that stuff, share, do what you need to do because of the goal. And the, and I want, I want to move the, the road to 500 needs to happen. And then from there, who knows? Who knows where we're going to go, right? Who knows where we're going to go? All right, guys. Thanks for checking out Steel Nation Australia. And as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Oh!